Oh, man. A woman is convicted of dismembering a landlord in Chicago. Imagine you're the landlord, right? And you go to collect your payment every single month. And your tenant don't got the money. So your tenant decides, you know what? I'm going to kill you and I'm going to dismember your body part. Let's get down to it. In the case of a woman accused of killing her landlord and stuffing her remains in a freezer. And Alyssa Donovan live at the Cook County Criminal Courts building with the story now. Alyssa. Yeah, Ray and Micah, a very late night tonight at the Cook County Courthouse. Those jurors started deliberating at 2 p.m. this afternoon. They finally reached a verdict tonight just before 9.30. That judge requesting they continue until then and hoping that they would come to a verdict, and they did, finding the defendant guilty on all charges. 37-year-old Sandra Kalalu showing little emotion as the verdict was read, guilty of first-degree murder, dismembered and aggravated identity theft in the gruesome death of her landlord, 69-year-old Frances Walker. Walker was reported missing in October of 2022. Chicago police discovered her body parts inside a freezer in her home during their... Inf Come on, man. How disgusting you gotta be. Did you see that old lady picture? You're gonna stuff an old lady's body inside a freezer. Sick. Possessed, demonic, our devil. Damn, this is crazy. This story right here, this is insane. I keep telling you, and y'all don't want to believe me. These people' brains are fried. They don't think straight. So you thought, so you didn't think, oh, if I kill, before you tended this murder, you didn't think, oh, if I kill her right now, they not going to find her body later. The police is not going to find her body later. And I'm not going to be serving a death penalty or life in prison. If I do this, if I commit this crime, you didn't think straight, huh? Told you. Brain is gone. Whether it's off the drugs or whether it's off the misery, the poverty, whatever. The brain is fried. Sick and devilish, demonic, possessed. Investigation into her disappearance. Kalalu killing and dismembering Walker following an argument that was heard by other tenants. Walker had planned to evict Kalalu. Walker's phone and credit card were found in Kalalu's possession. And according to prosecutors, Kalalu's DNA was found on the bags that the body parts were stored in inside the freezer. Kalalu's attorney attempted to steer the jury away from their client, pointing to Walker's husband as the murderer, pitching his motive as profiting from her estate. Walker's family embracing each other in the courtroom and shedding tears during the verdict. Here's what they had to say. So now you're 37 years old and you're about to go serve life in prison, even though they should give you the death penalty. Anybody that's dismembering body parts don't deserve no life in prison without parole. No, they deserve the death penalty. Electroshock, needle injection, gas chamber, something. It takes an ill-minded folk to start chopping off body parts. Ill-minded folk. You got to be really, really sick. Why are you going through the process of doing that? Ill in the brain. Mental, mental problems. Damn. And then you're going to... You're going to go squabble it out with this old lady over some rent payment because you don't want to get evicted. Pay your rent. You don't want to get evicted. Pay your goddamn rent. Then maybe she wouldn't have to evict your funky ass. Pay your rent. Everybody in America got to pay rent. Everybody. No one is not. Everybody just going to pay rent. Remember that. You in America. Bills are due every month. Rent is due every month, and you shall pay it, or you shall become out there in the streets. Funky ass going to kill this old lady. Good for nothing. The Walker family finally is going to heal, starting today, and we're so happy of the verdict. We know that we got the right person, and that she could no longer you know, victimize, hurt anybody, hurt anybody else. I believe justice was done, and I um, 
I'm glad that society, this will, will be a little bit safer without this person out there. And Kalalu's attorney says that she maintains her innocence tonight. She will be back in court on June 20th for post-trial motion. And Hold on. Did, the, did her lawyer just say she remains innocent? Huh? Until proven guilty, right? Didn't y'all just say y'all found the, 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 the landlord's credit card and, and ID inside her house? No. She's already guilty. Ain't no defending that criminal. Ain't no defending that murder. Ain't no defending that psychopath. She's done. And I don't know what's going on around America with all these body parts being dismembered, whatever. What we got, a dismemberment spree going on? Oh, y'all don't remember, huh? Back in New York? Huh? The ex-convict prisoner? The, 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 the dinosaur, the T-Rex that they let loose to prey? Oh, y'all remember that? Let's get back. We, we gonna get... Hold on. Hold on. Police made an arrest in connection to the torso that was found in a Bronx apartment earlier this week. Their suspect, a man who just got out of prison nearly a year ago, claiming he turned his life around, even worked with at-risk youth in Queens, talked about it recently on a very popular podcast as well. Good Days, Lizette Nunez joins us from Bronx Criminal Court with the very latest. Lizette, what's happening? Good morning, Dan and Tashani. Well, Sheldon Johnson, the suspect, says that he was a high-ranking member of the Bloods, but says that was his old life. So y'all don't remember Sheldon Johnson that a month ago, 30 days ago, the man was arrested after dismembered body, uh, dismembered body parts found in his New York City apartment. Y'all don't remember that, huh? Good for nothing, Sheldon. If he had changed now, or so uh, prosecutors and police thought that's untold they found body parts inside his freezer. Forty-eight-year-old Sheldon Johnson claiming his innocence after being walked by police in handcuffs. He has been arraigned on several charges, including concealment of a corpse and murder, and was ordered to be held without bail. This is Johnson recently on Joe Rogan's podcast talking about how he had turned his life around and was working at the Queen's public defense. Guess what these two stories got in common? One happened in Chicago, one happened in New York City. You know what these two got in common? Both of the body parts were found in their freezers. What's up with that? You, you don't even go discard the body. These, these new day modern devils is stuffing the bodies in their freezers. In their own freezers. Sick, twisted, demented devil. And then this one right here. Oh yeah, they, I, they let up. Uh, Funky Avatar, a good-for-nothing Jurassic Park dinosaur, out loose, out of prison, fresh out of prison, on the loose, hunting for his next victim again. Meanwhile, he's on Joe, Rog Joe Rogan's podcast, chatting it up about how he changed and how he redeveloped his life and he a new man. Yeah. Turns out there was nothing new about him. He was still always that criminal. That criminal was always in him. Except this time, he didn't go to prison for popping somebody, for murdering somebody. This time, he went to. he's going back to prison for dismembering some body parts. Yeah. Good for nothing. They should have let, they shouldn't have never let him out the cage. I keep telling y'all, y'all couldn't let, y'all couldn't free a dinosaur and expect that dinosaur not to hunt. And that's what he went doing, hunting. Fender's office after serving 25 years behind bars. He was a drug dealer and gang member. I got my GED. Um, mm -hmm. I left the gangs alone, which Ooh. was a benefit for them because, okay. you know, 
I was what you call an authoritarian. I Ooh. was a rule guy. I'm, I'm still a rule guy. But that's not the full story, according to investigators. Johnson is now accused of shooting 44-year-old Colin Small in the head and then dismembering his body. On Tuesday, police officers were called to do a wellness check at Small's apartment in the Bronx on Summit Avenue. They found Small's torso and foot That's in a plastic storage crime. bin. The victim's head, legs, and arms were in Johnson's freezer in his apartment in Harlem. Police sources tell Fox 5 the two knew each other from prison. The superintendent of the victim's building said a neighbor reported hearing a gunshot. The tenant of the apartment, he came in, he never came out. So I called police because it's suspicious. Surveillance pictures from the victim's apartment building show Johnson walking in and out several times the day of the murder. At one point, carrying what appears to be black trash bags. Look he is him. also seen wearing different clothing and disguises, including a blonde wig. And Look at that. He thought, oh man, if I wear this blonde wig, I'm a black guy. So if I wear this blonde wig, they won't notice it's me. What? Huh? Sir, the cameras caught you going in and out. That blonde wig ain't gonna do nothing for you. You're not in disguise. We see you with the trash bags. And then you thought the glasses and the blonde wig was gonna do something? Man, take that wig off and go serve your sentence. Oh, funky, rag, doll, good for nothing ass. Take that blonde wig off. And go get this death penalty. Injection style. Please. Good for nothing, citizen. And sunglasses. That's why I called the police and I said, and I told him specifically, I need a welfare check, but know that um, that something is weird here. It doesn't, doesn't seem right. And I was, my gut feeling was like, this is not good. Man. You see, yeah, I told you, it's a dismembering spree going on and hopefully this is the last case of it because it's getting wicked out here and it's getting nasty out here and there's only one thing and one thing only that can save us all and that's the man above god that's the only person that can save us all from this foolishness and hooliganness nasty thank y'all for tuning in with me i'll see you guys on the next episode love you guys and don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. Love you guys. Have a wonderful day.